say a moderate fan of Robin Ford and one of the things that I really like about his playing aside from his really cool tone and aside from his kind of awesome lead playing the thing that I think is maybe slightly interesting to me about his playing is his chord playing and his comping and stuff so what I know about Robin Ford is that he used like the Mickey Baker books to get some of this jazz stuff into his playing. Now there's nothing kind of crazy advanced about what I'm about to show you but it's just some things that stuck out to me when I listened and watched a couple of his live videos so I wanted to start with Help the Poor. Now Help the Poor is in kind of this D minor thing. for most of it, or D Dorian or something. Now, um, he's playing this chord for a lot of the, the vamp. Um, so underneath the D minor, we've got a G there on the fifth fret on the D string. And then we've got a C, which is the seventh. And we've got the nine there, right? Which is the B string fifth fret. So you end up with the 11, the G. You could sort of think about that as being like an A minor over the D minor. It's got a really cool kind of suspended sound. And another way to think about getting that sound if you're playing over a D minor is to kind of just play a C triad over it. So you'd be looking for kind of uh, your C major triad. So. just superimpose that over a D minor and I think it has a really nice sound. Now, the progression, it hangs on this for a while and then we get to this really pretty chord. Quick, quick correction, I don't think he's playing an A sus. He's actually playing, it's more like an A sus 13. Because we've got that F sharp in the top the natural sixth of A. So, and then that drops to the sharp five. Just wanted to throw that correction there as well. And we then get a G in the bass, we get the third there, with the C sharp, so get G in the bass here on the fifth fret D string, C sharp on the sixth fret G string, and and then an E sharp or an F, however you want to think about it, on the sixth fret on the B string, and then A in the top. So this is like a, an altered dominant chord. So that really nice kind of thing. Look at the way that he plays these kind of chords, and his middle finger comes off for this. He's got the the um, we're playing a G kind of seven sort of sound. Um, so we've got a G here, um, and then the index is playing an F on the third string on the D string on the third fret. Then our ring finger is playing a B on the fourth fret on the G string, and you can either play well, you don't need to use the middle finger, that's how he does it. Um, you use like a bar to get the D. So that's how I'm seeing that he plays that kind of chord. So that, to me, I would normally play like that. Robin seems to do it like that. And in this Help the Poor progression, he then follows it up with this. Uh, so, uh, yeah, so this is kind of what happens. He goes from this G dominant, then he moves to, uh, this is an, a 9 I think because we're adding the E, so a G, an F, still a B and then playing an E in the top and then he moves this up to the B flat which has a really really kind of jazzy sound I think. So then our B flat, we're playing a B flat here, sixth fret E string, 
sixth fret D string we're playing an A flat, seventh fret we're playing a D on the G string, and then the top we've got a G. And this comes from kind of the melodic minor or the altered. So just some chords there. So if you're playing this in another key, um, what we can take from this, I guess, is that we can play if we're playing like a minor blues vamp. that we've got available to us on the flat six we could play a dominant chord or a dominant nine or something like that so if we're playing an E minor for example when we came to the C we'd have that So that's available there for us if we're in this kind of minor blues tonality. Um, so yeah, as I say, we're playing like a B flat dominant, yeah, B flat dominant with a six in it. I'd be thinking of that as like a sharp 11 type sound as well, so I'd be playing F melodic minor over that. deeper and one of the chords he also plays I found another version where he plays this for the the B flat which he rises up to and actually in this version I think he plays this version of like a G dominant chord so I think he's got the six in it again or the 13 uh, rootless voicing I think so I think we get like a B here on the ninth fret on the D string an E on the uh, ninth fret on the G string, an A on the tenth fret on the B string, and a D in the top. And he falls down to this, which is like a, a B flat dominant sharp 11. So we've got the A flat here, the seventh of the chord, on the D string on the uh, sixth fret, a C here on the fifth fret on the G string, an E here on the B string at the fifth fret, and a G in the top on the E string at the third fret, and that's just a really chibi chord. And um, one that I think I'm going to try and use a bit more. it right now but uh, like a sharp 11 uh, with a 6 in it as well I don't know someone else can leave a comment about what that is I'm not good at naming chords I just know that it's home would be from sound the F minor melodic minor uh, one other thing that he was this uh, for the B flat, uh, which would be down here. So we get an F, a B flat, a C, and a G. So you've got some. 
some options for what to play over that B flat there. Like. So Robin most often is going for this kind of B flat. So the B flat 13, I would call it. The seven there, flat seven on the sixth fret on the D string. The third on the seventh fret on the G string. And then the six up in the top there on the B string. He's going for that. Then other times he's sometimes going for this, a bit more rarely. So we've got an F there, the A flat, the C and the G. And then other times when he's feeling really fruity, this one, this one here. So we've got the A flat, we've got the C, the E and the G. So three options there. So you could do this in other keys again, uh, similarly. So we've got an E minor here. And we can use this flat six in a dominant, uh, if we were to play the C version. Or, that's right. Yeah. voicings there just again looking through some live versions of Robin those are some other ones that I know so I, I think 13 is that the name for that chord really um, this one's got a sharp 11 in it and then this one uh, here and then this one is more straightforward uh, it's got the G in it and the 7 and and the nine. Yeah, have fun with those. Try them over the backing. So give that a try. Some some of those chords over a D minor, C triad, in that kind of works as a nice vamp. So anytime you see that D minor, just play a C triad over it. Then the other thing was he's playing these kind of dominant chords with the middle finger off, and then sometimes adding the six. And if you're in a minor blues, you can jump down to the kind of flat six. Oh, and then there was that other kind of sus. And yeah, as I'm playing that, I'm thinking, okay, I could solo over all of that with D minor, D Dorian, except for that chord there where I'd be thinking. I'd be thinking F melodic minor for that, E altered, or I'd be thinking. I could also use kind of like a F blues. Yeah, I think F blues or F melodic minor works nicely there. The other thing that I was checking out was Talk to Your Daughter. And he's doing that for the first part of it, which is kind of just a straightforward blues cliche. Is this working? It's not. Good. Pointless lap mic. Useful. Any sound through this thing? No. Sorry about that. Then, talk to your daughter in G major. And the thing that I noticed that he's doing a lot of... It's kind of, to me, reminds me of kind of uh, the song All Blues off of Kind of Blue. And we've got this little vamp, so for this we're playing like uh, a C and an E. C and an E down to a B flat and a D and then something like that um, and yeah you 
take that B flat up to a B. And then when we come to a chord four, our C major, it's just playing like a, a B flat triad. So, or you could think about it as a G minor kind of thing. So, if you've heard all blues before, you might know that it goes from So try that out, so you're going between playing like that G kind of thing, uh, so you've got a G, a D, and you're doing like an Aki Akachura on the, the B flat up to a B, and an F in the bass, to just straightforward G minor kind of vibe where you've got F, a B flat, and a, and a D, sorry, in the top. So you've got an F, a B flat, and a D in the top. So if you were playing in a G blues, instead of your C, think about just playing like a G minor. It's got that so whatever your tonic is if you're playing in C major you take that tonic and instead of your chord four just play your tonic, but in a minor format, like a minor seven. So again, if you were an A. For your chord four, you can kind of just play an A minor, maybe leave out the bass note, and you get that really kind of cool, I think, sound. Because you've got the sus. kind of blues like that you could go you get like a sustained blues suspended blues sorry then up to the E I say if you're thinking about any of the chords one four or five you can just use a sus chord instead so hopefully that's vaguely interesting to you how Robin Ford uses these chords and how we can use these to make our blues playing if we're into that sort of thing a bit more sophisticated sounding taking some of that jazz stuff and kind of inserting it in so instead of your tonic chord you can think about just playing the sus chord version of it which you can get very easily by playing a bar so if I'm wanting an A I just play a bar on the 12th fret starting from the A string if I want a D I'm playing on the 5th string starting on the 5th fret E and it's got a really cool sound to it so I'll put together an intro now and hopefully that was vaguely interesting I'll put together the PDF and the backing which will go on Patreon for any of you folks who are over there um, where you can get a tab for some of this and 